YouTube kick. Man, let's get right into this video, man. We're talking about the trans activists that got arrested. We had made a video on this individual not too long ago. And uh, remember I had told you guys how somebody said you should punch two people in the face? Wow. Uh, didn't look like it ended too well. Let's take, check it out. 4.50 p.m. at this time, I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of inciting violence. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Um, the necessity for the arrest is to conduct, conduct a prompt and effective investigation and to prevent any further attempted harm to yourself or anybody else. And have you got any response that you'd like to call? Yes. Okay. Trans rights are human rights. One struggle, one fight. Oh, it's okay like that. You're not too tight now. Huh? It's fine. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry, but it's just like he he said it in front of the cop as if he was on live TV. Like this is a live show or something like people are watching, millions of people are watching. So he takes that opportunity to go, trans rights are human rights. And the cop is just like, OK, <laughs> OK. Struggle <laughs> one fight. I'm on to yourself or anybody else. And have you got any response that you'd like to call? Yes. OK. Trans rights are human rights. One struggle, one fight. Oh, it's okay like that. You're not too tight now. It's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Feel free cool. to have someone. We'll be going down to Charing Cross Police Station. And um, if you want to have someone follow you down, you're more than welcome to. Um, and custody sergeants will explain everything. Is that how they arrest them? Like right, that? I'm just going to hold your arm on the way down, so I don't want you to fall over or anything. Like Shout that. out to Frida Wallace. <laughs> or Frida Wallace. <laughs> In Redux. <laughs> Trans rights are human rights. They won't get rid of us. Our existence is our resistance. You remember that. Can I can I come in the car with that? Uh, you won't. I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. Of course, go you the got the flag hanging up in the background. Hmm. He's just trying to. I want to. Oh. I want to say this. I am glad there was an arrest instead of just letting it go. You know, they can't just keep getting away with everything. Because you're asking a cult like of people, it is inciting violence. Are you taking any medication? Yes, I'm on estrogen. I take estrogen. Estrogen. Do you have any medication? Estrogen. That's all I needed to really hear. Okay. You check out the whole video if you want to go to the YouTube channel, um, Frida Wallace. Okay, so let's talk about this real quick. Honestly, get on them, man, because this is what should happen. Because when I said that somebody comes out here and says, punch people in the face, especially when you're talking to a cult-like following, right? These people who are, you know, they're more aggressive than, and they don't like to have peaceful protests and stuff like that. So, you know, when you tell them to go punch somebody in the face, when they get the opportunity is somebody who comes along who's a turf, which is just another word for a woman who doesn't um, give in to the trans like ideology. They're going to come along and say, you know what? I think that women are women and men can't be that in the face, in the face. Now, I don't know how long after the, that video that we saw that this individual got arrested. But I just like to see that there's some justice going on. We can't just get, allow these people to have un, un... to be unimpeachable, pretty much. To be unapproachable. Just be able to do whatever they want and say whatever they want, and it's perfectly okay. Because when you come on to this side, we don't try to incite any violence. I'm not saying... I never tell you guys to go, hey, you know what? If you see a trans, punch them in the face. I'm normally... Actually, I, I show that I care, and I say we should help these people. We should uh, get to these people. Now, a lot of these people are just following a trend. We have seen a big uptick, even though it's still not a large part of the population, a big uptick in young teenage girls and a uptick in teenage boys who want to become these different genders. So the young people are the ones who are getting influenced by these social medias and stuff like that. So when they see somebody like this who comes out here and says, punch him in the face, and especially a guy like this who has had a history of crimes that's a problem okay if you want us to get on your terms or if you want us to have a conversation with you the best way to do it is not say that if we have a conversation with you it's going to end with getting punched in my face now i understand that sometimes protests turn violent that is never a good thing but in this case you were inciting it so i'm glad to see that there was finally some justice going on and finally to see something happening we should start doing that more 
well, you know, and I don't even like the people in the White House. I'm not going to sit here and say, sit here like I defend it, but they are the people in the White House, so I give respect to people in the White House. Um, <clears throat> when they had that trans woman completely banned from ever going to the White House for showing their breasts, the trans woman. I'm glad he's gone, too. We need to have more of that. Let's just start cracking down on this kind of stuff. You don't get to do whatever you want, however you want, and fight whoever you want just because you are dealing with some mental illness or you're just trying to follow, follow the trend to be part of the new in crowd. Let's figure these things out. I'm out of here. Peace.